welcome back to part three so I just dropped in all the rails as you can see um, now I'm going to start dropping in the panels so I'll go through a couple of these so anyone who's looking to do one of these installs can see kind of what's involved and uh, just a little bit on right, the grounding so the panels will be grounded to these rails via these weeb clips. They look like, I don't know if you can see that, if that'll focus. And these little four dots will pierce the anodized aluminum on the rail that forms an electrical bond. So all you're really having to do in terms of running your bare copper ground wire um, is you gotta ground the rail to rail to rail to rail um, using a continuous ground. Um, now I'm just going to show you uh, because again everything else is grounded um, to the rails via the uh, the panels weeb clips. So this is just one I'm just going to show you. Um, I like these. Um, there's a lot of different grounding um, lugs you can buy but I really like this. Slip this in the slot. You drop of course the ground the uh, weeb clip down you just drop it in and then add your sorry I'm doing this with one hand your washer lock washer and nut and you tighten it down now I'm not going to tighten this down now because once you tighten these down if you have to re remove it or unscrew it, untighten it, you have to use a whole new weeb clip. They can only be used once. So in case I need to maneuver these around, I'm going to hold off on tightening these down. But here's the copper ground, and all I'm going to do is run that through. You can kind of see how I'm slipping it in through each of these and screwing it in. But I'm going to wait, as I said, on doing that until I finish the mounting the panels. the panels and the panels rail is going to rest on top of these if you can see those four little dots and once uh, the panels are tightened down the compression from the um, the mid clamps and end clamps it's going to form the electrical bond so here I'm sticking one on the other rail and all you do you know if you can see the bottom of that but these little feet you just pop them in to your rail and have to move them around a little bit but uh, anyway I just wanted to show you what that was so all the panels are grounded that way to the rails and again the rails are grounded together via these weeb ground lugs and they just connect on down and that continues on Ultimately okay, so to earth got the first two panels in I'm just tightening them up so Let's take you down here. I couldn't do this one-handed But uh, there's a slope pretty good slope bigger than I thought on this roof So this thing was sliding down and I'm doing this one person job So anyway, but I got that so these are just compression they just tighten down and these are the end clamps then in between we've got the mid clamps and these are just a bolt that slides in this channel upside down and you drop this little plate over top and then of course beneath it is those weeb clips I showed you before so we're just gonna tighten right. so these on the back down. of each panel as most of you know but anyone just getting started there's uh, two leads there's a positive lead, which you can always tell by the red or by the male um, end. Then you've got the negative, which on this panel is here. So what I'm doing is I'm going to leave this positive alone. I'm going to take the negative here connected to the positive of this panel. I'm going to take the negative of this panel, which is here, and I'm going to connect it to the positive of this panel. And these just clip together. There's no, nothing uh, too involved here. I don't know if I could do this one-handed, but 
they just push together that's all it is so i'm basically going to take our our negative to positive positive to negative right down the line and then what i'm going to wind up with on this string which will all be in series i think i said it's about 113 volts open circuit dc is what this array is going to do this five um so what i'm going to have is um, at the end of this array, and I'm going to do the exact same thing down below on these rails. So I'm going to have an empty positive, and down the line I'm going to have an empty negative. And on this array, we're going to have an empty positive, just like this. And uh, at the end of this array, we'll have an empty negative. And then I'm going to parallel. I'm going to take these, the positive from this one and the positive from this one and connect it together with a Y connector, which basically lets me join two positives. That allows me to run it in series. I'm sorry, in parallel. So series for each string, and then we're gonna parallel the string, positive and positive, negative and negative down there. First array is in. Got to wire it up, but that's literally plug and play. Got to finish the junction box on this, button that up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna drop in the last. Uh, sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm just uh, working this by myself, and it's about 110 degrees on this roof. Every nut and bolt I pick up is like leaving third degree burns on my fingers. And uh, anyway. So it's just making slow progress, but we're getting there. Hopefully the panels will be fully installed on the roof, junction box buttoned up, and then I can just uh, tomorrow work, uh, work on the other stuff. All right, I'm too tired to talk. Yep. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Once you've uh, done all your uh, wiring and series or whatever you're doing, um, I use zip ties, but you can use whatever. You want to keep... Uh, um, zip wire your wires against the rail or some way to keep them off the roof. Um, the code specifies any wire cannot sit on the roof. Um, so, and it's just a good idea, you know. And it looks neat. Not that anyone's gonna see this. So anyway, just wanted to point that out after you do your connections, zip tie up the wires so they do not sit in a pool of water or snow or whatever the case so is. here's the y connector they mentioned before <clears throat> you have uh when you start the series wiring on this array um you're gonna have either a positive or a negative remaining in this case it's the positive so this array is going to be wired identically um, and I'm going to have a positive remaining on this side. So now I want to connect these arrays in parallel. So I'm going to take the positive from this guy, from this whole string, and then the positive from this whole string, once I throw it on, it's going to go in there. And now we've just paralleled two strings. So this will connect up with this. And this is going to be my positive DC that's going to run down through my junction box. I'm just pulling it through now. Uh, and then straight on down. I wonder if gravity will take this down without having to fish tape it or me pushing it. I think it will. I'll make that easy. Actually, I'm going to wait. I'm going to do them together. I'll tape them to the negative one and do them together. But anyway, uh, moving along. Here's where we're at. Got everything in solo. This is pretty rough because I have literally about three or four square feet I'm standing on a room for the last panel. Not sure how I'm gonna get that on, but we're gonna give it a shot. But uh, basically I already have my connections, my parallel. All I gotta do is connect this to the positive of the last panel. And then the empty negative of that panel is going to click into this. 
and that's already fed down into the junction box. Mission complete. You can see the panels. Every square foot of this roof, putting in this last panel here was not easy. Uh, pretty, pretty intense actually. But we did it. Everything's wired again. First row in series to 113 volt open circuit at 8.76 amps roughly. Second array, same thing, wired in series, 113 volt open circuit at 8.76. Then I join the negatives of these two arrays and the positives of those two arrays to parallel it. So we're at 113 volt open circuit at, now we have to double the amps because I paralleled it, 16, 17, whatever amps. So this all funnels down through the junction box here. You saw it before. Everything's grounded, the rails. Panels are grounded to the rails via the weave clips. And that's it, my friends. Uh, I expected to get more work done this week, but really couldn't. And then down below, to the best I could on the last one, I've tidied up my wires. You can see. Shouldn't be really anything hanging. I see maybe one or two, but nothing's touching the roof. Well, actually, that one is down there. I'll tidy that up later. But uh, anyway, we're done. Now it's all working down below. Last of my from here on out. DC wires through from the roof. So this one, you know, these went through quick and easily. I'm surprised I didn't get jammed up like I did with, sorry, doing this one-handed, like I did with the uh, bare copper ground wire. That stuff is brutal. Um, but cool. I can now get ready to button this all up. Oops, I gotta tighten that up. That's getting a little waffled, but I'll fix that. But we're moving along, so here's our, so from the roof coming down, We've got our negative and our positive of the two paralleled strings. These are going to go in through this disconnect in, positives in, and a negative in, positive out, negative out. And then they're going to continue on with the copper into the shed. And then we're going to hit the control board, all that, all the components. And then, um, then we're going to, I won't get ahead of myself, but then we're going to have the AC wires running from the inverter our copper ground is going to come with us and it's going to be in a trench all the way back to the front of the cabin it's going to tighten down we only have to run two more leads so here's our conduit i've got to straighten that out and clamp it better i got to connect my joints um screw everything down but uh this is our ground that comes from the roof from those rails this is our DC uh, positive in, negative in. This will be our DC positive out to the uh, charge controller and DC negative out to the charge controller. Of course, through, after going through the breakers and so forth. I've bonded the number six bare copper to the equipment ground.